From their kiln to your kitchen, Emerson Creek Pottery of Bedford, Virginia has been providing customers with handcrafted functional art since 1977. I have been involved in photography and art, getting the art degree in photography and felt more, felt like pottery was more um, practical in terms of um, trying to make functional art rather than something just to hang on the wall. The pottery was originally founded in the mid-1970s, but moved to its current location in the Blue Ridge Mountains in 1977. The pottery is located on property that was formerly owned by the Wade family, and remnants of the family's estate is still on the property. The pottery's factory outlet is located in the Wade family home, a quaint cabin featuring three double-barrel chimneys and the home's original log walls. The scenic location provides inspiration for many of the designs found on the pottery's plates, bowls, and mugs. Traditionally, we've uh, had floral patterns. So we have the iris and the poppy, lavender and stuff like that. Uh, and um, so that's kind of the core of the collection. And then we last um, probably five or six years we've had more solid glazes. And the iris was probably the first pattern we still got. It's still popular. So that's kind of our signature pattern. Though the pottery began with just the founder and his potter's wheel, the small business quickly transitioned to using more mechanical and efficient methods to produce its products. There was a high demand for flower pots in the early 1980s, and Levitt's small staff could not produce the pots quickly enough. They started using a mechanical process called ram pressing that manipulates the clay quickly and efficiently. We start with mixing the clay. We, we have our own clay formulas that we um, have developed. So we combine all the dry ingredients and um, add water, mix it thoroughly. And then it come, we bring it over in boxes on the forklift. And if we, um, well, we use two processes. One is slip casting, and that's for like pitchers, um, teapots and mugs, that kind of thing. And then the other process is ram pressing for plates and bowls. Um, so if, if um, it's going to be pressed, the clay comes over, it gets um, uh, processed through what's called a pug mill, which compresses the clay and um, uh, runs it through a vacuum chamber to get the air out so it's dense. Then it gets put on the ram press piece gets formed, it gets dry, and then the seam um, where the two dies come together is cleaned and the whole thing is wiped and finished. It's dried again, then it gets glazed, then it gets decorated, then it goes in the kiln. And then it gets sorted and goes on the shelf. Following completion, pieces are carefully packed and shipped to buyers or vendors. Aside from the factory outlet store located on the business's property, Emerson Creek also boasts a large list of wholesale vendors spanning coast to coast. Early 80s, we started doing more wholesale and more volume, picked up some sales reps, and then that's when everything really started taking off. Most, it's mostly gift stores or stores that sell gifts or dinnerware or cooking and that kind of thing. Emerson Creek Pottery is available to purchase online, at gift stores across the country, and at the factory outlet located at 1068 Pottery Lane in Bedford, Virginia. The owners encourage Bedford visitors to stop by the factory outlet and check out the wide variety of products available for purchase, as well as the historic cabin and beautiful scenery. Aside from being handmade in America, Emerson Creek Pottery boasts several unique features. Probably the combination of um, the hand-painted designs, the um, handmade, um, it is handmade, and of course the handmade look. Um, we've always been non-toxic, no lead or cadmium or any of that kind of stuff. So 
I'd say the combination of all that together.